your first alert forecast what I heard with from meteorologist Brown, Chelsea all about Aaron. flexibility. All right, Chelsea. Well, they're inundated there in Iowa. Not the situation here. Definitely uh, cool for May, but at least we're sunny. Yeah, if you can believe it, Gina, last May, we already hit our first 90s of the season. That's wild. We're not anywhere close, but of course, things could always be worse. Up towards the Great Lakes, they're dealing with snow right now, and it's the first day of May. I am super excited <laughs> that we are not seeing any of that. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on weather-wise towards the Great Lakes. That's also why we are dealing with a lot of gusty winds. Yesterday was breezy. Today's breezy. You can expect tomorrow to be breezy as well, but I promise those winds will finally back off as we head into Wednesday. This cold core upper level low system here causing a lot of rain. Also snow showers towards Green Bay. Even I have some friends in Chicago and they are like, why are we still getting flurries? It's not uncommon, but definitely it is unpleasant. All dry here at the Tennessee Valley, but we are seeing a very tight pressure gradient from this low pressure to our north. That's why we're dealing with the gusty winds, but little in the way of cloud cover, plenty of sunshine. If you can get through the winds, hey, you can get through anything. Wind gusts right now, sustained wind speed, should I say, 20 miles per hour, Decatur, Huntsville from the west northwest, but gusts much higher. They're likely up to 30, 35, even close to 40 miles per hour. We're going to be dealing with these for a couple more hours, but by the evening hours, most of these winds should quiet down. They'll kick rack back up into your Tuesday, but like I said, Wednesday, Wednesday, those winds will finally start uh, tapering off. Current temperatures, despite all the sunshine, only low in mid 60s. That's the best we can do. And if you're looking for a warm up, I promise warm up is coming later in the week. You're just going to have to wait a couple more days throughout the rest of your day. Breezy conditions, sunshine and cool. I would keep the light layer around as the wind's going to make it feel cooler at times. Afternoon highs should likely meet reach the mid 60s and we will see clear skies as we head into your evening hours. This will let overnight lows dip back into the low and mid 40s likely as we head into your Tuesday morning. Tuesday, a bit of a copy and paste of today, except afternoon highs should be just a smidge warmer. Plenty more sunshine with highs mid upper 60s and again more breezes out of the west northwest. Winds calm down Tuesday evening and they likely should be calmer as we head into Wednesday. Let's talk about that high temperature trend because I've been wanting the warmer weather. If you like the cool weather, today's perfect for you, but let's get to those warm weather folks like myself. Mid upper 70s likely by the end of the work week and we pulled the trigger on 80 for Sunday. We won't be tracking any any rain into the forecast likely until late Thursday into Friday and we need to watch this system closely. We still are in severe weather season. We've gotten a good break from severe weather, but I'm thinking we might could have possibly a few strong storms, if not severe storms so sometime late Friday. Now this isn't going to be a big weather maker, but of course we want to give you that first alert. So we'll look ahead Friday morning, few showers early overnight lows will be mid upper 50s we will warm up quickly near 80 degrees. The setup is going to be quite messy. It's going to be largely dependent how much moisture we can get in here to see if we can get those strong to severe storms. Late in the afternoon, evening, we will be tracking more rounds of heavier downpours, possibly even some gusty winds. I won't even rule out some small hail as we head overnight Friday into Saturday. Of course, we'll keep you updated, but latest model guidance is trending toward a heavy rain, gusty wind event. Saturday, more showers in the forecast, also more showers for your Sunday, but I don't think it's going to be an all day rain. Heading into your next work and school week, a bit of an unsettled pattern with scattered showers and storms each day and temperatures finally getting to where they should be for this time of year, low 80s. All right, thank you, Chelsea. Well